Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Two Man Talk Movies. Yeah. I'm your boy, Bobby. I'm your boy, Enigma. And you know what we Come on, man. What's up? What's going on? What's going on? Hopefully you enjoyed um, watching our rundown of the best movies of 2023. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Like we said, like we told you, it was going to come with the worst movies of 2023. So <laughs> you know, we need to give you both sides. So yeah. let you what's good to watch and what's not good to watch. So, well, yeah, yeah, so we're going to yeah. jump in, man. I mean, make sure you, you like and subscribe and join in the conversation. Yeah. And yeah. Comment and whatnot, because um, there's, there's definitely a lot to talk about. Um, so, so much. So, E, what are you saying? I'm going to jump in first, yeah? So, I'm going to jump in. So yeah, I'm because you, yeah. you went first You went first last time, so it's, it's only... I mean, I went first last time, yeah, so yeah. it's only fair. You go first this time, so yeah, yeah. cool, yeah. no problem. So obviously, I'm just gonna jump straight in with my first choice. Again, no particular order, but my mm-hmm. first choice of one of the worst movies to come out in 2023. And I, I don't, I don't, uh, yeah, Barbie. I'm gonna just say it. Barbie. Barbie. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Straight. Barbie. Okay, Barbie. we're going for the big guns. We yes. going. Yeah, straight away. Why, why hold back? Why hold back? Why hold back? Okay. Um, one of the most overrated movies of a generation. <laughs> not even a decade, not even the year of a generation. What? I actually read somewhere where somebody said the writing was good, it was funny. When mm. I say, yeah, I re- listen, I don't have no problem with watching, like, say, girly movies or rom- rom-coms is actually one of my favourite genres in it film. Is, it is, it is. And it's like, bro, it just really wasn't that good, and I don't know if it was if it was because of the hype that was mm. put behind it. I don't really, I don't pay attention to hype. I yeah. can watch films on its own merit, and I yeah. really couldn't see why anyone would like it. Like literally, it's a yeah. film for little girls that little yeah. girls wouldn't even understand. Yeah, that is a good point. That is a very right. good point. Yeah. It's, so what you just want to like when I say if there ever was a film that is um, indoctrination masked as feminine empowerment. <laughs> like you're a real this woman. Is it. This is it. That, you think that if you equate hating men to feminine empowerment, you're delusional, mm. delulu, and that's all what that film was. It was literally like, you know, the, do you know the part that we joke was the "woe is me" part? Like, mm. the, you know the part where America. I don't know if you ever watched it. Yeah, you yeah, watched, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So you yeah. see the part where American Ferrera and her daughter are like they're having a discussion with Barbie and some of the other Barbies about yeah. how. And have got it, you know. It she does me. her. She does her monologue. She does her monologue. Yeah, the monologue yeah. part. It pissed me off because I wanted to feel it. I don't have a problem feeling it if it's well written and, and yeah. the gravitas was there. I was like, I'm like looking around, want to see this one. Like, <laughs> what's the gravitas? It was not good for you. You feel it. No, you don't feel it. No. Conscience. No. Surprise if any woman comes away saying they like that film, and I believe if you did, you're fucking lying to yourself. As a mm. film, forget the doctrine mm. and the me- nonsense message you're trying to put across. It's just a stupid ass movie. It's corny, mm. and, and and you equate men to the Ken characters. And it's honestly how women these days are seeing men. Like, so we're all one dimensional. Ridiculous. That film was atrocious, man. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. film was. If there ever was an agenda, push. That film is top of the list. And what proves <laughs> it is how well it did at the box office. It was a. It's a the movie's atrocious. I still can't believe that film is the highest grossing film in Warner the Brothers. Film of, it's, it's, yeah, it's the biggest film of the year. It's the biggest piece of bull... You know what? I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, I actually don't believe it. I don't even give a shit if they show us the stats. I'm telling you that it's doctored stats. It's just like saying when artists come out and they sell a million records in a week. Listen, anyone that understands anything from the music business understands they do the same shit in the movie business. You niggas will be buying tickets. You think we don't know you be buying tickets? You, you think we don't know? Because at the end yeah. of the day, no one be going cinema half as much as they used to before the pandemic year. Yeah? So yeah. the fact that they're trying to say everyone come out in their clothes to go watch motherfucking Barbie, you're fucking lying. Right. You're lying. You right. fabricated their numbers and people believe that shit. So everyone follows hype. And I yeah. fully believe that whole shit was a promotional vehicle. It was hype. The film is not that good. It's mm. not worth watching. Mm. Don't even let your daughters watch it because you're going to tarnish their brains against what actually is it what actually goes on in society and if that's how you want to raise your your freaking daughters watching movies like that and thinking that's how you're supposed to perceive society and men you're the lulu wow. that's all i need to say Damn. it's nonsense yeah it's nonsense. I'll get that from a, a, one, a one out of ten 
And that was the one that, that, that okay, no, you know what? I'll give it I'll give it a three out of ten. And okay. One 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 is is for um um uh uh Margaret Rock but she she is Chris, I can't even lie, she she's fine. And she is a half decent actress, I can't get her for that. Yeah. And um I wanna even give the other one to, to uh, Ryan Gosling, but his character kind of annoyed me a bit. But um yeah. here's what it is. Here's what it is. He was very one dimensional, kinda of pissed me off. Um mm-hmm. even I think Will Ferrell was wasted. I don't even know if I wanna yeah. give props to you know what? The other two the other two um, so one goes to my girl Robbie <laughs> and gets spread between the rest of them. Okay. Yeah. Not, yeah. Didn't like it. Three out of ten. I was, two out of ten. I was, two out of ten. Wow, three out of ten. I was two, gonna say two, so two. Two, 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 two. two. Damn. Ryan, I was gonna say you didn't. The performances: Ryan Gosling, Margot no, Robbie. Who cares? Wow, 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 wow. Bro, come, bro, look at the character of Ken, bro. Mm. It's like, okay, not only the character of Ken, the character of um, what's his name from? Is it Superbad? What's his name again? Uh, Michael Cena. Michael Sarah. Michael Sarah. 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 Yeah, yeah. So that's how you are meant to be, yeah. <laughs> That's the only type of guy you not like. You just want a gay best friend. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, it's it was, it was pushing a lot of agendas. It too was much, bro. too much. Yeah, I mean, um... like, bro, literally, because you have to see what that woman, that, that movie's saying. It's basically mm. tied to because I know just women take it literally. You know they do. So mm. no woman is coming at that movie saying, "Oh, that was just a good movie." No, what they're watching is what they believe. And yeah. that's the reason why it's a problem. Because yeah. you're watching a movie like that thinking like, yeah, but no woman wants, so you want the gay best friend, but you want the man to be masculine. But when the man's masculine, you call it toxic masculinity. Make your fucking mind up. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. I'm, done. I'm done. No, I mean, look, bruv, you, you, you said it all, you said a lot. I mean, it's definitely been a successful movie, obviously, biggest movie of the year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for a female all of that um female director and stuff like that but again look yeah there was there was mad you know that i don't even huh? hate her as a i said i don't even hate her as a director okay she's, not, she's decent but that yeah. is shit. okay 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 all because of this narrative you know me i'm a story person mm. so I'm not. I don't want to talk about how well it was lit or or the set design. I don't care. I'm not talking about it. Not not for this. No, I'm not giving you. That. I'm not giving you. That. I want to go by story. This is bloody Barbie. This is a bloody toy. This is a doll. Is um, Issa Rae. Issa Rae. She was funny. She's always funny. Yeah, she's yeah. always funny. So yeah. you know, separate. You know, what? she's the one that gets the other one. There you go, Margot Robbie. One. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the other one. That's the two out. Okay. Okay. okay, two out. Just out because out. I like them two as actresses because they're dope. Damn, damn, damn. Ah, oh, well, bruv, you kind of said it all. <laughs> I do agree. I do agree with a lot of that. Um, Barbie itself. I think it's funny. I think the the point that you made that it's a it's a toy that's known for kids, made for kids. Kids buy it the most, but. Like my youngest daughter watched it and she was like, "What the what the what is this? <laughs> what is this? Like, what they weaponized Barbie again? Yeah, like what they is Barbie? Yeah, she was like, oh, yeah, nah, she went really down. Um, yeah, I just think it was a it's a weird phenomenon. The Barbenheimer thing obviously popped off, helped out. They both helped each other. I know how you feel about Oppenheimer. We already know about that, but I think this was look. It was. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that feels, man. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Um, no, definitely. I, I'm, I'm down with you. I feel that I, there's no, there's nothing I can say beyond. I think it was a phenomenon. Sometimes every single year, there's one film that just hits the spot, and that seems to be it was that at Super Mario Brothers, definitely. For different reasons, mm, definitely mm. hit the spot, and yeah, I'm, I'm way better than Bob. Of, of course, of course, of wow, course. of course. Well, Mario Brothers was to me was an instant classic. Like, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I was on the best list. That's why I was what we knew about Mario and the games, and, and added it to the story. Mm. Like, 
was frigging dope. Really, that was. <laughs> but yeah, uh, bloody hell, Barbie man. Okay, well, there is. You got it there, straight people. If you disagree as well, let us know. I mean, it was obviously <laughs> popular. Had no balls, fam. <laughs> if you disagree, let us know. Let us know in the comments. Um, obviously, a lot of people did like it. So again, it's on our worst list. If it's on your best list, let us know. But no, bruv, nobody really liked it. Nobody. <laughs> really, I don't believe anybody liked it. I believe it was hype. I believe we're we're forced to believe that people liked it. That's literally yeah. great marketing. That's where yeah. all the money goes. Nonsense. Yeah. 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 So, let me just say this real quick before we go. Right, yeah. one of the most genius things you can do in marketing. And it's probably arguably at the top of anybody who works in marketing departments knows this. Is mm. to fool people into thinking it was their decision to go watch something or to even like something. Mm. So if you put, it's one of the reasons why advertising is so powerful. If you put something in front of people's eyes so much, it's like, you know, they, they said this in Coke when they first designed the Coke adverts back in the day. When yeah. they make that shit look so nice and icy cold and shit on a hot summer's day. They mm. put that shit everywhere. And next thing you know, you're sitting at home, you're like, I want some coke. And you think it was your idea? No, it wasn't. That's how marketing, good marketing works. Yeah. Make you think you want to watch it or go see it. That's yeah. what they did with Barbie. They put pink everywhere. Yeah, that's Make true. You move and push all that shit, all the women, all the girl director and all that stuff. Mm. Push all these things, you'll see it actually everywhere. Bruv, I literally saw them advertising Barbie on IndieWire. This is a, 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 a what do you call it, an Insta page and the website that focuses on the independent film scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barbie's not an independent movie, fam. It's a big blockbuster. What, big so block. what does that tell you? Somebody yeah. paying motherfuckers. Yeah, so it's a big blockbuster. Advertising's a motherfucker. motherfucker. Doesn't mean it's true. But anyway, yeah, I'm done. Wow, well, Barbie, two out of ten, you heard it here. <laughs> Let us know if you disagree. <laughs> and if you agree. All right, we up. <laughs>